Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another review on the team of the season, Leon Goretzka. We're going to go through the Cardacito stats, clips, and summary. But before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below what your thoughts are on this card. And now, let's get into the video. So, guys, the team that I use, Leon Goretzka, and I played him in that DM spot, the cam spot, and I did even try him as center back and striker for a half each. And overall, guys, my first impressions of this card. This is easily one of the most dominant and best midfielders I've used all year. Now, that shouldn't be a surprise given the stats that he has. But overall, I just think he was a fantastic card. Let's just get into the review. Leon Goretzka, 6-2, high medium work rates. Right footed, four star skill moves, four star week for four games played, two goals scored, and five assists. Now, guys, overall, all of this is really nice. Uh, I think he's even had an upgrade on one of the skill moves on the week foot. We will look at that more in the summary. Uh, the high medium work rates are good as well for that player who gets forward from the base of midfield. And given his stats, guys, this card is an absolute joke. He's got everything going for him in terms of all of that. In terms of the chemistry style, guys, I left on basic. Uh, I did also try a shadow out for one game. But to be honest, guys, I just left on basic just to see how he would play without anything else. And getting into the attribute details, guys. Now, the key pros of the card, everything. Everything on this card is absolutely phenomenal. I don't care where you think you see weak stats. This card is brilliant at everything. His passing range is phenomenal. He puts everything on a plate. His dribbling is good, tidy, and clean. Is it a little bit clunky because he's bigger? Actually, no. Surprisingly, he's very good uh, with an engine. And even with the basic as well, as the was up to 92. He was fine with that level as well. Uh, his shooting, very good as well, especially from distance. Fantastic in that department. Physicality, tremendous. Able to do everything in terms of defending as well overall guys this is just an unbelievable card guys in terms of cons if you really want to nitpick the pace and the agility is the only two things i would pick up on otherwise you've really not got a con of this card oh we can't take penalties for example there getting into the player traits he's also got the dives into tackles trait and the long shot taker trait so now that we've covered that let's get into some of the clips that i got with him into some of Leon Goretzka's clips and what you guys are going to see is his general ability at that CDM spot to dominate in that central midfield role and how well he did for me there now the first thing we'll get into guys is his pace as we do per usual we'll get into his pace first his pace is good I do feel like that although his size may slow him down a little what you do have going from guy is that he is really long stride length as well so even if you're trying to catch those quicker wingers he's actually very capable of doing that he very easily does it uh, and therefore you don't really notice the pace deficiency that much on this card that you normally would see out of a bigger card the next one we'll get into is his shooting now is overall guys i think his shooting is very good i didn't really manage to score that many goals with him i think that's because i played him mostly deep in midfield where he's of course arriving late to the attacks or is more supplementary in creating chances rather than finishing them off so guys overall i feel like his shooting is good i just didn't get to use it that much i do feel like his long shots are really good as well guys so that was something really positive to have out of this card as well the next thing we'll get into his passing now his passing range is phenomenal both short and long passing his link up play is easily one of the best i've used this year um, he's able to do everything on the ball he wanted to be able to he's even capable of taking set pieces although they aren't his strongest suit he's capable of doing that very easily and creating opportunities off of the back of that as well which is the main way i managed to create opportunities uh, deep from midfield is that passing midfield general you need in there who's able to create chances with good passing and he was able to do that over and over and over again now the next thing we'll get into guys is his dribbling now his dribbling does on the look of it seem like it may be slightly inagile because of those stats but overall guys his dribbling was phenomenal and because the rest of his stats are basically 99 in that category what it means is that you don't actually notice the effects of that agility that much if you do want to give the agility a little boost actually leaving him on basic or giving him an engine will do the right stuff for him um, overall guys his dribbling was tight clean you're able to move around in midfield and for the most part guys given how good this card is you'll be able to out dribble most opponents he comes up against unless of course you're coming up against someone like a Valverde or a De Jong where he will be evenly matched because those are fantastic cards as well but this card has a size advantage over so many other cards that most of these other players that I've mentioned don't have so that's something that's really going for him as well in terms of his physicality guys and his defending we'll do those two together because they are very complementary to each other 
very strong player in midfield guys very capable in the tackle you guys can see how cleanly he tackles the ball how well he takes it off the opponent and how well he's able to uh, hold that base midfield as well and although he does have a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate his positioning is very good and that's because of his decent defensive awareness and his good attack positioning as well he's able to just put himself on the right spot to allow you to have peace of mind when he's in that base of midfield tremendous strength in there tremendous defending really great at everything guys and i can just say it over and over again it's not going to change Anything, nothing's going to change about what i'm thinking about this car easily the most well-rounded midfielder that's going to be released this year i don't care who else is released this card has everything going for it that really is one of those fantastic special cards that you really want to try out this year if you can afford it as we get to the final few clips guys you're going to see the goals that he scored for me and actually both absolute peaches of goals the first one here an absolute long shot ping how's that for a goal and the second one more of a finesse type of goal uh, with a lovely chip uh, we work our way through the team here with lovely link up play he actually goes down there he's up again straight away great attack positioning in on the defense here and then finishes it off brilliantly So guys, getting into this final, Leon Goretzka summary, 2.94 million on the PlayStation 2, 999 on the Xbox, and not even one on the PC. Now guys, this card is very expensive. I do expect the price to drop off as time goes on. The key pros of the card, guys, I mean everything. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, this card is brilliant at everything. It really isn't a bad card at anything. Uh, if you're going to put a chemistry style on him that would help him out, of course, the engine is the one to go for just to help his pace dribbling and passing out although he really guys really really doesn't need it if you leave him on basic it still takes him up to a very good level uh, and i think that's actually very close to where you want to be with this card anyway in terms of similar players guys i hate to say it joshua kimmich is good he's much smaller though frankie de Jong is a very good comparison as well similar sort of size and player stature uh in terms of that i think guys in terms of defensive capability this card is just as good as someone say like a patrick Vieira. he's so big lengthy and strong that he's able to do all of that and then he has the going forward ability of some of these incredible players going forward as well you know he can play anywhere guys whether it's striker cam cm defensive midfield center back even he could play on the wing he could literally play anywhere this card is that good in terms of linkability guys of course perfect links to his midfield partner Yuzua Kimmich uh Thomas Muller's in there as well Robert Lewandowski is a strong link but of course perfect links of course to Manuel Neuer as well as Jerome Boateng's in there too lots of perfect links strong links of course to Robert Lewandowski uh German icons Kingsley Coman Mats Hummels other German players in the Bundesliga other players from Bayern Munich and of course German icons in there too in terms of the price comparison guys we're not going to go into a price comparison for this card because it's still very volatile this will drop hard over the coming days uh, and weeks as as you know time goes on so i feel like this price really isn't reflective of where he will sit i do think he is a fantastic card guys and this will lead me kind of into the final recommendation guys is that i think this card is on a different planet compared to any other card just in terms of how he's able to attack and defend uh, he can really do it all at an elite level and for for me guys he's above hullet gang he is literally in the upper echelon of the top class players that you can get on this game that will just do a job for you uh, box to box particularly that's where i would use him in the box to box role i wouldn't use him in a holding role but if you wanted to use him there he could perfectly do it i would use his attack into your advantage because he is so good in the attack so good in the defense he really is that box to box general that you could use in your team if you can afford him hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do smash that like button until next time i will see you all in a bit.